Hey guys, I'm back. Haven't uploaded a video in a long time. I'm actually kind of pissed about that. And I probably lost some of my viewers, but I just had a lot going on. And I got a new puppy for duck hunting. I'm at least going to try to make her a duck dog. Uh, anyways, today the video is going to be about two of my coyote calls. And this is going to be a review about them. What's, what do they do differently and yeah. Anyways, we'll start off with my Primo's double cotton tail. Small call. I actually prefer my night inhale, and I'll show you why. Anyways, this is my Primo's call. It has the two reeds inside. It makes kind of a more like a screeching noise compared to my other one. My other one's more like a like a rabbit trying to get away from the coyote. Like a distress kinda. This is just like all hell breaks loose and I'm dying. Anyways, I'll show you what it sounds like. That's the Primo's call. I actually don't like this call very much. I used it all last hunting season for coyotes up in my little snow blind and this is not a call if you're looking to hunt coyotes oh shit if you're looking to hunt coyotes in the winter do not get this call I'm telling you guys because it's good for about 20 minutes of calling and then after that your breath gets in the reed like the moisture from your breath from blowing on it gets in the wheat reeds and it all freezes and this call just turns to shit after half an hour it, you can't you can't even, it does not work at all. It just freezes completely and you just can't blow on it. And you're, you're probably thinking, well, that's not too bad. Just take it apart. But this call, after I bought it and all that, and I realized that you can't unscrew it or anything. So once the moisture gets in it and it freezes up, then you're just screwed. And no more calling. You're going to have to whether put it inside your clothing and get your body heat to defrost it or I tried that but it doesn't really work that well it does it for a few minutes and then it's dicked again anyways that's the Primo's call I'll show you my nighting hail this is my night and hail call ordered it off amazon.com my other one I just bought at a local hunting outfitter store, my Primo's call. And after I used that other call, I was thinking, well, I have to get a different call. Like, that's just not doable in the winter. It's just too much trouble. That'd be a good fall call, I think, or spring. But this one, it, do it doesn't freeze. And, well, it doesn't freeze for me, at least. But if it did happen to freeze, you can take it apart. So you're safe with it any 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 time it freezes or anything like that, you just take it apart. Or if you get dirt in it or something, just take it apart, clean it out, get it all dried off and it's good to go again. I also prefer the sound of this call a lot more than my Primos. It has a really nice sound to it. Anyways, I'll let you guys hear it. That's the sound of this. Anyways, yeah, I'm also sorry about not getting any more videos on lately. This is this is the end of this video or end of the calls. We'll still talk for a little bit longer. But yeah, I just I never had time really. Whenever I did have time, I was saying to myself, oh, "I gotta go and make a video. I gotta go and make a video," and then I just didn't go out. 
I'm actually kind of disappointed too because I missed a lot of good video opportunities. Earlier in the summer, I hooked a huge two and a half pound speckled trout in the river down behind my house. He put up a good minute and a half fight and that's a long fight in, in my little river. You have to see the river, it's, it's not very big. And I, I, he was a, a giant trout to come out of that river. I'm, I'm disappointed they never got him on video. And I was planning on going up and doing some actual coyote hunting and getting some footage of that up on the mountain. But I just get my dog trained for the fall and I just had too much going on, never got the chance to go up. And that's basically all for the videos. I also would like to know if you guys wanted me to start posting videos about like training my dog for duck hunting and other things like that, like introducing her to water and getting to retrieve a tennis ball and different things like that. If you guys would like to see some some of that in my videos, you could uh, drop a comment down in the comment section below. And I'd for sure get some videos of that on for you guys. And I can show you guys my dog. Actually, come here, Kelly. Come. Come here. Kelly. Come here. Come here. This is the lab I got. Her name's Callie. She's a 12 week old black lab. Actually, she's kind of like a chocolate and a black. Her mother was chocolate and her father was black. I don't know if you guys can see the brown in her fur a little bit, but it's a really dark colored brown, anyways. Yeah, she's been doing pretty good for me. I had her for three weeks. And she's retrieving the tennis ball good for me. She's getting in the water all on her own, swimming around. She's listening good. I've ta I just taught her easy commands like sit, come, other things like that, just getting her used to it. She's listening pretty well. She's all potty trained and yeah, and if you guys wanted me to show you some videos of me training her in that, I could for sure get those on for you guys. I'm just gonna end up the video here in a few minutes, probably about a minute. I just wanna ask you guys one more question. And or not ask you a question, but like tell tell you guys something that will be happening to my channel soon. I was planning on changing my, well not changing it completely over, but like I'm still going to upload my hunting and trapping and a little bit of fishing videos, but I also want to like, I want to make it an, out, an all outdoors channel, not just focused on those like hunting, fishing and trapping. I wanted to add it on like, well like training her and doing reviews like what I just did here. And I was also planning on getting a GoPro, and I've been into mountain biking lately, doing a lot of cross-country mountain biking and stuff like that. And I was planning on getting a GoPro and uploading some videos for you guys about me, like, biking and showing that, because I know they get those videos get a lot of views, and some people like to watch those videos. And uh, I'll be changing my channel name, too to TSB Outdoors, if you guys can't find my channel later on, just search TSB Outdoors. That probably, I'll probably, this will all be changing over in a few weeks. I won't be uploading any GoPro mountain biking videos probably for a while, because the GoPro is fairly expensive. I need to save up a little bit for one of those. Anyways, that's the end of my video I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll hopefully be uploading some more videos in the future.